Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about a camera that I'm super stoked about, really happy to have in my camera collection. I'm going to be, I'm going to be talking about this camera a lot over the next little bit. And that is the Polaroid One Step 2 and I bought the Stranger Things edition because I'd been waiting for a while to really get a cool edition for this camera. I didn't want to just jump on it when it first came out. Um, because sometimes these new cameras are a little bit iffy. I know it's crazy to say that considering that older cameras are the ones that you know you don't necessarily know if they're working when you buy them, but this is a completely new product from Polaroid Originals and it's their attempt to go back and sort of remaster uh, an original. So I gave it a little bit of time, gave them time to work out the kinks in it, and I think it really works fantastically well. I'm very impressed by this. Some of the new features are amazing. I'm gonna go over them in just a second and show you some of the photos that I've got with this. So first of all, it works and functions mostly like the old Polaroid cameras that you're used to seeing. Um, you take the film out here at the front, and it's got the roller. One thing that they did add though, and I'm going to show you in a video clip in just a few minutes, is they added a light shield so that when your photo comes out you have this uh, black plastic piece that is over top of it. Gives you time to sort of get somewhere a little bit darker or somewhere a little bit shielded from the sun. Uh, take your photo out it automatically the, the black plastic shield retracts into there uh, back into the camera perfectly. I love how smoothly it works um, and then that gives you time to put your photo into a dark spot for it to develop face down. What I like to do, and this is just a little tip for me, and this is something that works every time for my photos, if you're gonna be using this type of camera with iType film, any Polaroid film really, you wanna make sure it develops, right? So keep the box that the film comes in, you can put it in that box, shut the lid, and it's dark. Pretty much anywhere you are, you can do that. Maybe stick it in your pocket or a bag or something and let it develop. Really, they recommend letting it lie face down so that the chemicals and stuff are spread nice and even and it gives it time to develop and get a really nice exposure on there. But I really recommend keeping the box that it comes in, the film comes in, so that you can put that in there and you have a really awesome chance of your photo developing. Okay, so some of the cool new features that Polaroid has added with the One Step 2. For those of you that are interested in this camera, but don't know if it's really quite worth the money, it's well worth the money. I can tell you that right now, compared to like what Fuji and, and Canon and all the other ones are doing it with the, the instant photos, this is worth the money because it's actually cheaper. Nine times out of 10, I have found this camera cheaper, and I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can get an awesome price on this. I found this camera to be cheaper in terms of the camera itself. The film is a little pricey. It's actually gotten a lot better from when it first came out, and so I'm also gonna put a link down there to some film if you wanna get the, uh, some film packs for yours. But it's actually an affordable option now. It used to be something that was really just for like the artsy individuals, artsy type who wanted uh, a cool like thing to experiment with with photography. Not anymore, this is actually doable for most people. So here at the top is something that they added, which I absolutely love. There's these eight little dots, and what it does is it lights up when you put a film pack in, eight dots. The reason for that is because you have eight shots in a film pack. So as you're shooting, the, the dots sort of flicker out. They, they go out so that you know how many shots you have left. If you've got four lights lit up, it means that you have four shots left. Why is this important? Well, it used to be you just kind of took photos and there wasn't an extremely good indicator for how many shots you had left. I think there was like a, a number indicator on some of the older ones, but it wasn't as readable. Like this is just simple. It's a nice modern take on an original. Something else really nice is just the whole setup is very easy. You've got a self timer, you've got a shutter button, you've got uh, darken and lighten over here on the side. And then on the back, you've also got to turn the flash off a little button. Aside from that, the lens on this camera is actually quite nice. It's not gonna give you super crisp photos, but that's because most people who want this type of camera, you don't want super crisp photos. You want photos that give a vintage vibe. And I gotta say, I'm loving the photos that I've been getting with this. I'm gonna show you a few of them. So of course right now I'm using a Stranger Things film pack. So I'm gonna have some odd frames, but I love them because they go perfectly with the vintage retro look that I'm going for with my photos. So I'm gonna show you a few of these. And as you can see from the photos, they do have a really nice older look to them. Even though these were taken just like two days ago. I really love this one. This is proof that you can get some pretty cool artsy looking photos if you play around with the lighting settings. And there's a tripod. 
Did I mention the tripod? Sorry, almost forgot about that. Yeah, there's a tripod on the bottom of this so you can get, I wouldn't stick it on like a really portable tripod, like a small one, but I would put it on a sturdy tripod and use it. You can get some pretty awesome photos uh, using this camera. And right now we're gonna go and we're gonna take a photo. It may or may not turn out great, but I'm going to take it indoors with regular like ceiling light, which is not my favorite, but I'm gonna do that with the flash just to show you that light shield that comes out over top of the photo as well as the development process. So I'm not gonna be able to show you the photo as it develops because it does need to be shielded and it does need to be somewhere away from the light. But let's check it out. All right, so let's take it out of the box here. I put them in the box. I actually, okay. Forgot I had another photo in there with it. But this, look at that. Look at that awesome subject there. And this is a photo that I took without flash, with just regular lighting uh, from like a window. And as you can see, it turned out pretty cool. So the one we just took, are you ready for this? That's pretty awesome. And like I said, I didn't spend a ton of time like on the composure of this or anything. Just wanted something that's got a lot of green in there. This was indoors, regular light, like from a ceiling from a light on the ceiling with the flash. So as you can see, you can get some pretty cool photos. Again, I love these frames. I, I'm gonna put a link in the description to where you can get the same exact camera I've got, same exact photo frames that I've got for this with the Stranger Things film pack. Really awesome pricing on it. But overall, I'm really enjoying this camera. I can't wait to make more videos about this. And if you like videos about cameras, this is the place to be. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss the videos when they come out. I don't know, let me know in the comments section. What do you think about the Polaroid One Step 2? Do you plan on getting one? Did you even know they exist? This is a brand new Polaroid in this day and age. It's not an old camera, it's a new camera. It's a new take on an old camera. So let me know what you think in the comments section and uh, I'll see you guys later.